hydrate your water. We're going to head to the Good Day Cafe with recipes to hydrate in this sweltering heat. Back with you now at 942 in the Good Day Cafe with temperatures in the 90s this week, feeling like 100 potentially. Mm. Uh, we are all feeling the scorching summer heat. And we know that water is key to staying hydrated, but most of us, we don't get enough. <laughs> we know we need it. We don't drink enough of it. So here to diversify our menu with ways to eat your water is nutrition coach and founder of Culinary Cure, Kristen Cofield. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You're the and woman of the hour. I, you know. <laughs> Today just turns out to be the perfect day to talk about the power of hydration. Sounds great. For not just being healthy, but for having more energy. Yes. It's good all the way around. You're wearing yellow I'm to wearing, match the lemons. I've I'm got guessing. this whole ye yellow lemon, yellow and blue <laughs> theme going on because blue represents water and yes. yellow represents lemons, which can help to alkalize our bodies. Mm. So most people wake up in the morning and what's the first thing they do? Cup of coffee cup for me. Cup of coffee. They have a cup of coffee, but really the first important step is to have a glass of water. Yes. So we want to rehydrate after the fast that occurs during sleep. So when we're asleep, all of our major organs are going through a metabolic detox. Mm. Basically, all that metabolic waste ends up in our lymphatic system, and we want to help take that yeah, trash Yeah, you need out. a good flush. Got to do it. So the first beverage of each day, and I gave you one. Oh, I have my own little lemon water here. Should always be lemon, lime, maybe a squirt of grapefruit, water. So the lemon goes in acidic, but it turns alkaline in your body. Mm, so nice. cool and it tastes great. So rehydrating after the fast that occurs during sleep, and then you can boost your water with a squirt of electrolyte drops or a pinch of Himalayan pink sea salt to power it up, to help it get in your cells. Well, Kristen, as we move down the line here, how much water should mm. we be getting daily? Everyone's favorite question is, how much water should I be drinking? Yeah. So the Institute of Medicine came out with a report in January Women should be sipping 98 ounces of water a day okay. and men 123. So how do you get to that much water? Sip, sip, sip. Never, ever, ever drink 100 ounces of water at one time. Got you want to start with water and sip as the day goes on. I believe a, a gallon of water is 128, right? And a lot of people are doing that right. a day. Would you recommend it? Or? Um, I would say start with half your body weight okay. in ounces of water and then sip your way up to what feels comfortable. So sip by the hour. Got it. There's another way to hydrate, and that's by eating your water. Mm, this is my favorite part. This is such <laughs> a good thing. With the and it's summer, we can get all sorts of gorgeous yeah. fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. So what I've got here are some of the most hydrating fruits and vegetables. Berries, melons, things like cucumbers, celery, mm. um, lettuce is super hydrating, cauliflower. But this is an easy way to do two things. You're, well, three things, actually. You're going to hydrate with your food. You're going to get more of that incredibly important fiber that we need for our gut health. So everyone's talking about the microbiome mm -hmm. and gut health. Well, the good bacteria loves the fiber we get from fruits and vegetables. And all those fruits and vegetables help to alkalize our body. So now we're dialing down inflammation. And also add flavor because some people, right. I have friends who are like, I don't drink water because I, I hate know. the way it tastes. But if you can add apples or strawberries, yep. melons, cucumbers to it. Make your own make spa water. And then there's another thing. I've got some herbal tea here at the end. So at the end of the day, well, and if you, actually, if you don't like the flavor of water, uh -huh. just drink herbal tea. Herbal mm. tea is as good as sipping water, plus you're going to get the added benefits of whatever herbs are in those teas. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, sounds good. I mean, you have just a wealth of resources on your site, online. You, all, you do a lot of fitness, too. So where can people find you? And tell us about this trial that's coming So up. what I did before this program was I created a free 14-day hydration program. Anybody can get. It's absolutely free. And you'll get 14 days of emails coaching you on how to hydrate oh, properly. That's awesome. Nothing yeah. beats free. You know free that. Free is the best. <laughs> and what I love about hydration is yeah. hydration. Hydration is free. Everyone can do it, and in order to do it better, all you need to do is all start right. with water. So visit me at theculinarycure.com. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much. Thank in my 14 so days, I guess we'll start, start today. Start today. We're starting thank right so now. Kristen <laughs> Cofield.